So can the president, can all the presidential candidates please unmute themselves and say their name and what they are running for? And we can start with Michaela. Hi, I'm Michaela Menenzala and I'm running for class president. Hi, I'm Dr. Soraya and I'm running for president. Hi, I'm Vivian Vu and I'm running for class president. And then we're going to move on to the vice president candidates, Kim Tran. Hi, I'm Kim, and I'm running for vice president. Thank you. And then the secretary candidates, we can start with Robin. Hello, my name is Robin Nascencio, and I'm running for secretary. And Kimberly. Hi, my name is Kimberly, and I'm running for the role of secretary. Thank you. Um, now we will be getting started on the speeches. We'll start with the presidential candidates and we can start with Vivian Vu. Hi everyone, my name is Vivian Vu and I'll be running for class president of 2025. To me, a leader is someone who steps up for the sake of others, someone who's open-minded, eager to help, cooperative in his understanding of the people they lead. Whether or not I'm elected as class president, I will always offer my help to people, even those I don't know, and do my best to lead a great example to my peers. This is exactly why I will be running for class president. I am very passionate about assisting others and working with those who join for the same reason as I have. It is truly a dream job in my perspective. I can imagine by the end of next school year, our school will have many events that will encourage our class to share a close-knit bond with each other. I'm hoping for our class to be comfortable enough with each other to make communicating their concerns with the class office easier. I want to help and enhance our school by suggesting fun events, educational workshops, and community fundraisers. As an individual, I will always be readily available to assist any classmates with whatever they need. I believe I am qualified for the role of class president because leadership and my want to help others comes naturally for me. I'm very understanding but can be strict but necessary. No matter what, I'm always looking for opportunities to better myself and I will always give my 110% to prove I'm worthy of this position. Thank you for listening. Okay, um, we can move on to Michaela now. Hey class of 25, high school is an exciting journey that I look forward to experiencing with all of you. With my leadership skills, confidence, enthusiasm, and your support, we'll have a memorable and eventful freshman year. Running to be your class president, I'm no stranger to, to leadership. Last year, I was Merle's ASB president, which taught me how to be patient, how to make activities exciting, and it made me grow as a leader. Because of this, you can, ex you can expect original fundraiser ideas like selling tote bags and bucket hats to DIY, and a lot of class spirit. I'll make sure this year is filled with the best memories and a lot of class spirit. We wanna start our high school year off strong. We're no longer the kids who are too shy to unmute during Zoom, but I am guilty of being too shy to tell the Starbucks employee that they got my order wrong, but I'll get there one day. One of the ideas that I wanna execute is Freshman Fundraiser Friday, where every Friday we have a fundraiser that will benefit our class. Another idea is to come together as a class and talk about what we would have wanted to do in eighth grade. Since most of us didn't have the opportunity to have eighth grade in person, I feel like this will be a great the, um, great idea to bring our class together. Um, again, my name is Michaela Manizal and I'm running to be your class president. If you have any questions or concerns, you can talk to me on my Instagram, MichaelaRose.m. Thank you. Last but not least, we have Genesis. Okay. Ready, set, go. Yo, Sixers! My name is Genesis Haroyo, and I'm running to be your class of 2025 freshman president. As some of you may know, I did come from Piedmont Middle School and was very involved in the academic, athletic, and spirit aspects of school. That enthusiasm has not changed, if not doubled, during this tough year and a half. Therefore, we need to make up for the lost time. Um, I'm running to be your president because I want to leave the school better than it was when I first came here. Um, and that starts with bettering. That bettering starts with you guys, the student body. If I get elected as president, I will make it my number one priority to try to listen to what makes this high school the great one it is, the students. I will always do my best to be attentive and welcoming to everyone's ideas. With that said, Please consider voting me and go Sixers. Okay, and then we can move on to our vice president candidate, Kim Tran. I see a leader as someone willing to do whatever it takes to guide others in the right direction, making sure no one gets left behind, communicating well, motivating everyone, 
thinking outside of the box, and simply being able to keep on track. What's up, Six Series? My name is Kim Tran, and I'm running to be your class of 2025 Vice President. I'm running because I know the needed responsibilities for a Vice President, would love to get involved for the benefit of you and the school, and know I can commit some help make this year something to remember, especially if this is our first year at Independence. I have some experience from middle school, which should explain how fit I am for this position. I was able to join a program called WEB, which is basically the middle school version of Honorary Eagles. And from that, I realized how much I liked leading and helping others. I also did yearbook for two years, having one year online and one year in person. So I know how to face all sorts of obstacles while working with others. I know what it's like to keep up with all the events going on in school. I even got the opportunity to join Interact and just love the idea of services and meeting new people. When elected as a class officer this year, I'll make sure your thoughts and ideas are heard. We get hyped for all sorts of upcoming events and overall step up our game. By the end of next school year, I see every sixer being able to look back and be glad they got to make the most of their year. Whatever obstacles may be coming our way, I plan to put in the time and effort to help overcome them. I won't let you down as your class of 2025 vice president. What else can I say, man? Vote for Kim Tran. Sorry. Thank you, Kim. Thank you, Kim. Thank you, Kim. Um, okay, and then we can move on to our secretary candidates. We will start with uh, Kimberly. Hi everyone, my name is Kimberly and I will be running for the role of secretary. My personal example of a leader is someone who is kind, collected, organized, reasonable, and understanding. I will exemplify these qualities by taking notes of important things such as event plans, meetings, suggestions, and or opinions on how to make something specific better. I am running for secretary because I've had a lot of experience with running a 20,000 k server with and can work very well under pressure. I see myself, my class, and my whole school as people who should be respected. As we evolve into a bigger community, I believe that we should all start to get along. At the end of the day, we are going to be at the school for four years, and I think it's very important to work on our communication skills, as well as making everyone feel welcome. The goal I have for this year is to keep everything fun while also being professional to pass my classes. I wish to improve Independence High School because I personally help others to the best extent I can while also helping them if they were complete strangers. I feel like I'm qualified for the role of secretary because of how hardworking, determined, open-minded, diligent, and observant I am. Thank you for listening to my speech and remember to vote Kimberly Chan for secretary of class of 2025. And then last but not least, we have Robin. Hello everyone, my name is Robin Innocencio and I'm running to be class of 2025 secretary. In my opinion, a leader is someone who can take charge in a given situation. If I'm elected as class officer, I'll show leadership qualities by sharing my input on ideas of what to do in a situation. I'm running for secretary because I like the idea of helping out my class and wish to contribute to it in a way that is manageable for me. By the end of next school year, I see myself being more comfortable with this campus and settling down with clubs, sports, and other activities. By then, I hope to become more comfort comfortable and confident while speaking in front of others. I believe I am qualified for this position because I'm reliable to count on and can manage multitasking. What I feel sets me apart from others who may also be running for secretary is my mindset. Once I put my mind on something, I won't stop until I have it completed. Thank you for your time. Hey, thank you everyone for your wonderful speeches. I'm gonna share my screen now. We can get started with the actual forums. We can start with the class of 2025 class office forums now. And the first question is directed towards everyone. What new ideas do you have for your class office this upcoming school year? Okay, and we will start with the vice president candidates. Kim Tran, go ahead. Um, of course, I plan to help brainstorm plenty of new ideas as the year goes by. And I'm sure to do all kinds of raffles, fundraisers, or even candy grams to raise money for our class. But at the same time, we do need new activities to do together. And I know it's a bit early, but for examples like Halloween coming up, we could do a scavenger hunt for candy, watch a horror movie, have a haunted house, and so on. Thank you, Kim. And we'll move on to the secretary candidates and we'll start with Robin. 
If I get elected as secretary, I plan to first of all listen to the voices of students, such as seeing what activities they like or what they want to do during the upcoming year. And then I would check it to see if it's okay for the school year. And if it is, then I'll be sure to consider it. Some ideas I do have as of right now are similar to things I had in middle school, like during special holidays, you would be able to purchase like candy or other stuff to send to a different friend or like anyone you want to send it to. And I think that would be a good idea for this school year. Thank you, Robin. And we can move on to Kimberly now. When I'm elected as secretary, some new ideas would be making a poll to see what people like and then taking those ideas into suggestions into making uh, events that will bring everyone together and make them feel more comfortable so they can open up to us more. Thank you, Kimberly. And last but not least, we'll move on to the presidential candidates. We will start with Genesis. Um, okay, so as far as like, making sure that the students' voices are heard. I definitely go one-on-one -on -one with students in class to find out what they're interested in and then kind of go from there. A couple specific ideas I did have was fundraising to provide free feminine products in the girls' bathroom, because I feel like that'd be really helpful. And um, I also, I've always wanted to do like, a Halloween, like a trick or treat at night where you just come and the teachers give you, you go door to door from every teacher and they give you candy. Thank you, Genesis. Uh, we will move on to Vivian. As I mentioned in my speech, I will be sure to bring original events, fun fundraisers and educational workshops to the table. Not only will I focus on the fun aspects, I will make sure to prioritize educational ones as well so our class can thrive. Thank you, Vivian. And finally, we will move on to Michaela. As I said before, some ideas that I have would be the tote bags and the bucket hats. I think this is a super duper cool idea because um, imagine like you're making it with your friends and maybe you guys can make matching bucket hats or matching tote bags. Um, or we could even have like a competition who makes the best ones. Another one that I have would be um, selling nachos and cookies after school for a fundraiser. Mainly because after school, I see a lot of people asking for food. A lot of people are hungry, especially because you have um, like sports practice before or like, yeah, after school. So you'd be super duper hungry. So I feel like that would be a good way to fuel the athletes and to fuel everyone before they go home. Thank you, everyone. We will move on to the next question. To everyone, have you been involved in your class during middle school? If not, why? The first question. This question will really start with the president candidates, Michaela. I love taking every single opportunity that I get to be in leadership. So during middle school in seventh grade, I ran for um, ASB president or ASB vice president and I won that. And I also ran for ASB president and I also won in eighth grade. And I ran because I felt like it was so, it was so cool like helping students and seeing how you can affect them and seeing everyone just grow from like what you were teaching them or the events that you did. A lot of my classmates and a lot of my friends actually got closer because of the ASB events that we did. And it was just a super duper fun way to like bring the school together. And I love seeing everyone happy and everyone smile and everyone participate in spirit days. So yeah. Thank you. Next we'll move on to Genesis. Um, in middle school, I did actually quite a few stuff. I did web, interact. Um, I ran for president in eighth grade, did not win, but um, I also did cross country and track. Um, and even in, middle, in elementary school, I did um, announcements and I did safety patrol. So I really, really like, like just leadership in general. It's super fun. And I like, you know, taking the whole leader role and whatnot. Um, I do it just because it makes me really happy and to help people. Thank you. Next, we'll move to Vivian. In my middle school, there wasn't really any chance to be involved in like other schools. However, when I was able to help prepare for events and advertise around the school, I thoroughly enjoyed every second of it. 
So now that I have a chance here at Independence, I won't let this opportunity go and give my, it, give it my best shot. <laughs> Thank you. Next, we'll move to the secretaries and we will start with Roman. Back in middle school, even during COVID times, I would try my best to participate during every single spirit day by like wearing whatever the day category was. Um, I did want to try out for web, but I think I wasn't able to because there were too many web people in web, so that didn't work out. And I tried running for spirit leader, but I had to move, so I ended up not running. But my friends did run to be part of the class officers, and I really saw how much fun they had helping people and taking part of it. So I would like to experience that fun too by helping people and being a part of class officers. Thank you. Next, we'll move to Kimberly. So like Vivian in middle school, we didn't actually have many choices to get involved with our class. But when I had the chance, I joined the STEAM class and it opened me up to a lot of new ideas and like voicing my own. So I think that's why I wanted to be secretary and help others. Thank you. Next we'll move to vice president, Kim. In middle school, I really loved participating for Spirit Week. Just the joy from dressing all out and painting my friends' faces was something I really enjoyed. And in eighth grade, I tried running for Spirit Leader, but unfortunately didn't win. However, I was still interested in it and really liked how I was still able to request ideas for Spirit Week themes. Um, as I said in my speech, I did web, interact, and yearbook in middle school. So just leading others, working in groups, meeting new people, and getting involved is something I really enjoyed. Thank you, everyone. Okay, thank you. We will move on to the next question. These are directed to all the president candidates. What makes you the most qualified for this position as president of your class? Uh, we will start with Vivian. I think I am the most qualified or at least um, more than averagely qualified for this position as president because I tend to dive headfirst into le leadership roles. For example, leading group projects, big and small and volunteering to help where I can. Class president is no different. I believe I have what it takes to ha handle it head on. Thank you. Okay, and we will move on to Michaela. Besides my experience, I'm a very confident, outgoing person. I know firsthand how to deal with situations that a lot of people wouldn't know how to do. And I want to help my class reach its full potential. I'm a very, I know how to organize a lot. I'm a very, um, like I know how to organize my time too. And adding on with like my experience, um, all of the things that I've done in like middle school and in Vincy Park, it taught me a lot. It taught me like I've learned from my mistakes in the past. So I know not to make them in high school. And yeah, I'm just very, I'm very confident and I know how to help my class and I want my class to reach its full potential. Thank you. And last but not least, we have Genesis. I think I'm most qualified for this position because not only do I work under pressure and criticism very well, but I'm also experienced and very extroverted. I know how to talk to different kinds of people. Um, the main reason I think I'm mm, the best option to be president is because my campaign is kind of taking on this one-on-one -on -one concept where I kind of just meet people instead of campaigning more publicly and trying to like make that personal connection with them because I generally want to help this class have a fun year. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you to president candidates. We will move on to the next question. This question is for everyone. Why did you choose to run for your specific position? And we will start with the secretaries. Kimberly, you'll start first. So I ran for this position because I think it suits me best out of all the other roles. 
I'm diligent, hardworking, open-minded, kind, and um, my friends are the ones who motivated me to do this, even on the long run. So that's why I chose to run for this position. Thank you. Next, Rowan. Well, for me, being president, vice president, and the person in front of, fine, fine, oh shoot, sorry. Um, for me, being president, vice president, and other roles of the class officers seem really fun. But as of right now, I don't think they're the best thing for me right now because I do not feel as if I'm ready for them yet. But using this position as secretary, I feel like it's really going to help me become better and improve to be able to do better stuff. And I think I can do secretary specifically because I am really hardworking and I can multitask and do other stuff that secretaries need to have. And yeah, thank you. Thank you. Next, we'll move to Vice President Kim. Um, I've thought about joining class office in middle school. Yeah, it's always difficult for me to choose a position I want to run for. But working in a team and being able to represent my class genuinely sounds like a lot of fun. I didn't want to do president itself because I'm not that confident as a freshman to go into that. So I chose to run for vice president. I feel like the position fits me well overall and would really be a great opportunity for me to start getting involved. Thank you. Next, we'll move to the president, and we'll start with Genesis. Sorry. Oh, okay. So, funny story, actually. I first learned you could run for, like, class president when I was, like, in kindergarten. I saw this fifth grader campaigning, and I thought it was so cool, so I promised myself I was going to run for president one day. Well, in school. And um, ever since then, I just think that there's no other role that would fit me better than this one. I'm a very uh, go big or go home type of person. Um, and I just think that being president means being taking initiative and taking a lot of responsibility. And I think I have those qualities. Thank you. Next, we'll move to Michaela. As a president, you should be prepared and know how to lead. What I mean by that is not only know how to lead a class, but lead a group of leaders, like lead, lead class office. Um, it's so important to know this because during class office, things can get so stressful. Things People could get like overwhelmed and stuff like that. And I know how to handle that. I know how to um, stay, like, help people like keep calm and help people so that they stay in line. I chose to run for this position because I'm, yeah, I feel like I fit the position. I know how to help a group of leaders. I know how to um, confidently public speak. And I am I have a lot of experience running for this position like in Vincy Park and in Morrill. So, like I said before, I've learned from the mistakes I made as a president. So now that I know what to not do. Uh, thank you. Next, we'll move on to Vivian. I chose class president instead of any other position because it's where my strengths and attributes can come can truly come to play. I have prepared for a role like this for a long time, and now it's time for me to showcase what I'm capable of now that I have the opportunity. The roles of secretary and treasurer are roles where I wouldn't be able to fully utilize my skills, unlike the position of class president. Thank you, everyone. Now we'll move to the next question. Moving on. To everyone, what is your personal definition of a leader? Okay, uh, we will start with the vice president candidates. Go ahead, Kim. Um, my personal definition of a leader is someone that's willing to take control and guide others in the right direction. Whether it's making sure no one gets left behind or motivating everyone, you need to be a team player and be willing to put in the time and effort to help overcome challenges and support your teammates and others. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we will be moving on to the secretary candidate and we will begin with Robin. 
Well, for me, my personal definition for a leader is someone who can take charge in a situation and someone that people can look up to when they need help and someone that inspires others to do good and follow them. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we will move on to Kimberly now. So like I said in my speech, I think of a leader is someone who is kind, collected, organized, reasonable, and understanding. But not only that, they should also be diligible or diligent, and they always have a foolproof plan. And even when their plan gets shut down, they should have a backup one. Thank you. Thank you. We will move on to the president candidates and we will start with Vivian. To me, a leader is someone who guides and supervises people into the right path. Someone who can work well under various situations and difficulties. These are qualities that I possess and I and plan to take advantage of for the sake of my class. Thank you. Thank you, Vivian. And next we will move on to Michaela. My personal definition of a leader is someone who can take initiative and who is a good role model. So when someone comes against a problem, not only do they help them um, overcome that problem, but they also help them comfort each other and that they make sure that that problem doesn't happen again. Or even if it does happen again, that the person is ready to like mentally to fix that problem. They help people and guide them and are someone that people can look up to when they're um, like sad or when they don't know what to do or are lost. Thank you. And last but not least, we move on to Genesis. Um, I think a leader is somebody who is humble and puts others first, but also uh, finds a way to remain confident at the same time. Um, I feel like they must know how to handle criticism correctly and use it as a way to improve and to work under pressure really well. Um, also have to be someone that people can confide in and trust because trust is important. And um, somebody who listens regardless of what the other person is saying. Thank you everyone. We'll be moving on to the next question. How do you plan on engaging your class since we are now back to in-person? Okay, we're gonna start with secretaries. And Kimberly, you'll go first. I plan on engaging my class on participating in things by motivating them and trying to hype them up. And I know trust takes a long time to like fully trust others, so I'll try my best to make them feel comfortable too. Thank you. Next, we'll move on to Robin. Now that we're all back in person, I plan on engaging my class by having a lot of activities planned for us that show class spirit and school spirit. Thank you. Now we will move to Vice President Kim. Now that we're in person, we can go face to face, walking around, asking for ideas and what the class overall wants to see, as well as getting feedback for advice on how to step up our game. We'll make plenty of events to really make up for the online year since we can actually hand things out, talk to one another, hype each other up and actually attend the plans. Thank you. Now we'll move on to the president candidates and we will start with Michaela. I plan on engaging my class in activities and class events and how to make it actually fun is um, to have everyone participate and how I'm going to do that is being a role model like myself and what I learned from volleyball is that once you see one person being really hyped for a spirit week or being or participating a lot and you see that they're having so much fun, then the other class, the rest of the class will do the same thing. And it's I think it'll be really fun because like for the last year we were in we we're in online for the whole entire time. So it'll be a good way to for everyone to catch up back up and meet new people. Thank you. Now we will move to Genesis. 
Um, I know like that this past year and a half, a lot of people have disengaged from participating in school spirit and just being interested in extracurricular activities overall, which is why I think we need to kind of bounce back even harder. Um, once again, I think I'm gonna take the one-on-one -on -one approach, really asking everybody and anybody what they wanna see and what would make them, part not make them, but encourage them or make them more um, excited to participate in school events. Thank you. Now we will move on to Vivian. Firstly, I'll start by creating bonds with my peers and always ask them for feedback. I want to make events that they can attend for, multi for a multitude of reasons, to hang out with friends, have a sense of normalcy again, or just why not? Since we have all changed a lot since the beginning of the pandemic, I'll make sure our plans will be more than enjoyable enough to make, make up for lost time. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Okay, moving on, the next one will be the final question for today. This question is directed towards everyone. Describe one of your biggest weaknesses and how you plan on overcoming that. Okay, and for this one, we will start with the president candidates and we will start with Michaela. One of my biggest weaknesses is overthinking. Um, I plan on overcoming this by, honestly, what I've been doing is just thinking about what makes me the most happy. When I think about people judging me or people thinking this or that, I just focus on what's making me happy right now and like everyone's good feedback. And I just think about how in the future, it really won't matter what those bad people say about me and how I'll rise up from all those um, bad things that I think of myself. Thank you. Thank you. Next, we'll move on to Vivian. One of my biggest weaknesses is that I tend to be forgetful. Sometimes I'm too nervous and forget what I'm asked to do or I forget something as simple as where my phone is. I've started to work on this problem ever since the beginning of this pandemic and have made lots of progress. I always make sure to do reality checks and, and stay in um, the, the current frame of time. Although this is a problem that can be um, very, uh, that can uh, deeply reflect upon my quality of work, I won't. I will be sure to not let this uh, get in the way. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Next, we will be moving on to Genesis. Um, I think my biggest, one of my biggest weaknesses is my, um, my issue with punctuality. I can get kind of, I like, I work very well under pressure, like I said, so sometimes I least up to the last minute and then I'm rushing and then I'm late. Um, that's pretty much all I can think of. So that kind of leads to just or, or, organize this. Um, but the way I'm gonna fix that is definitely, it's something you can fix really easily. You just make sure you're constantly reminding yourself and putting timers and whatnot and making sure that you're just organized and prepared. Thank you. Thank you. Next, we will be moving on to the secretary candidates and we will start with Robin. In my opinion, one of my biggest weaknesses would be my underconfidence and I feel as if I'm actually overcoming it. In order to overcome it, I've been trying to talk to more people and trying to be open-minded to other opinions that other people may have. I've joined clubs to help me open up more and I think being a class officer would help me overcome it a great amount. Thank you. Next, we will be moving on to Kimberly. I think one of my biggest weaknesses is not being confident enough in my answers because I tend to stutter a lot when I say something. And by overcoming that, I think I'm going to be more confident in them and try to fix my pronunciation on some stuff. Thank you. And last but not least, we have our vice president candidate, Kim. Um, personally, I think one of my biggest weaknesses is sometimes feeling like I'm not doing enough. I always feel the need to be doing something and reaching this certain expectation. It can be viewed as a good thing sometimes because I'm pushing myself, but it could also lead to me 
overdoing and being overwhelmed and stressed out at times. I am slowly overcoming this weakness by managing my time better, asking for advice, planning things out ahead of time, and just slowing things down. Thank you. And thank you, everyone. Good work, everybody. That will be the end of the forums for the 2025 class office candidates. Good job, everyone. Good job. Yeah. Please make sure to vote on Tuesday. Make sure to drop the spirit week next week. Bye. 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 Bye.